Here's a back of the envelope calculation. The atmosphere has a total mass of 5 times 10 to the 18 kilograms. Of that, 0.039% is carbon dioxide, or 2 times 10 to the 15 kilograms. Human output of CO2 is about 3 times 10 to the 13 kilograms per year. Source: Global fossil fuel CO2 emissions. That means that in a hundred years, you'd expect to double the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere. CO2 production hasn't always been that high, but we've been producing CO2 at higher than baseline levels for about 200 years. So yes, it's perfectly reasonable to expect that humanity can change the atmosphere in significant ways. These numbers jibe perfectly with the rise in CO2 from around 300 ppm to 400 ppm in the last century. CO2 is only a very small part of the atmosphere, but it's a crucial one. The greenhouse gases are the biggest reason that the Earth's average surface temperature is warmer than the Moon. We are at the same distance from the Sun, after all. During the 20th century the Earth averaged 14.0 degrees Celsius, the Moon averages minus 35 degrees Celsius. The Moon has wide swings in temperature, from minus 173 degrees Celsius to plus 100 degrees Celsius, it's the atmosphere that evens that out. The oxygen and nitrogen play no part in the infrared absorption that warms us up. Water plays the largest part, about 50%, and CO2 about 25%. So if CO2 goes up by a third, you can expect a temperature difference of several degrees. This is all back of the envelope stuff. You can do much more sophisticated calculations, which model the data much better. But the answer is yes, if you put out many gigatons of greenhouse gas, then it will warm the atmosphere. It is a significant change.